In this episode, I will explain how you can implement a full ladder into your FPGA Basis 3 by using a VHDL language. Hello guys, welcome to another episode at Time Electronics Support and today we are going to discuss about uh, full adder and how you can implement it on your FPGA by using VHDL language. But just a, a quick recap from the previous episode. We, we implemented the half adder which has two inputs and two outputs and we are using one XOR gate and one AND gate and in that case uh, this is the full adder but you can implement also the full ladder by using two half adders uh, as per this diagram here. So practically we have two XORs, two NAND gates and one OR. And again, it's the same logic. We are going to turn on and turn off the LED. The only difference between the half adder and the full ladder is we have three inputs. And in the half adder we have two inputs. And we have, again, two outputs, SUM and carry bit. So this is the truth table, and as you can see, the sum it will be on, it will be 1. Once one of these three inputs are 1, so in that case A is 1 and we have 1 sum, and B is 1 and then we have 1 sum, and carrying bit is uh, 1 again and we have 1 sum. But in the case that we have two inputs high, this means the the carry out bit will be set. So in that example here, you can see that B is one and A is one. So the carry bit, carry out bit is one. And again, here we have one and one. Again, it will be one. And uh, in the last stage, you will see that all the three inputs are high, are one. So this means the carry out bit will be one plus the sum. But Let's go and see on uh, the Vivado how we can implement that. So in order to save some time, I have already uh, created the project. And so here is where we are going to implement the code. So do you remember I said we need to create a new design, which is going to be where we are going to implement the code. And then we have to create the constraints, which is this one. So I have already uh, select so we have three inputs and we are going to activate the switch 0, switch 1 and switch 2 and again the output it will be the sum and the car carry out bit which is this one so we need to give the same names A, B and C in and sum and C out and let's go to implement that logic by typing on using VHDL language so first of all, we'll start with the sum. So we need to right here and sum. It will be equal to a so b so c in and then semicolon and the carry out bit. It will be equal to parentheses a and b or parentheses a and c in and again or parentheses b and c in close parenthesis semicolon and actually, this is the the code that you need to type on the Vivado in order to implement that logic. But let's go into uh, the simulation and see what we have done. So by running the behavior simulator. And this is our simulation. But you need always to remember that we need to add force clock. So let's say the leading edge it will be zero and the trailing edge it will be one 
zero and then we'll say this one it will be 10 nanosecond and my second input it will be again leading zero and trading one of both edges and this one it will be 20 and the third input it will be again zero and one and then this one it will be 30. Let's see then what we have done. So by round for 40 nanoseconds, we can just fit zoom fit. And zoom in here. And let's see. So this is the first input is one. So practically the sum is one. And again, one and one and one. So this means both will be one. And it's exactly as we expected. And let's see now the RLT analysis. And this is a schematic. So practically you will see that it's a bit uh, confusing, but it's exactly, so practically we have one, two XORs, three NAND gates, and two ORs gates. It's equivalent to our design here. So practically we have two ORs, two XORs, and three AND gates. So going back to our design, the next step is to generate the bit stream. So I will start generating the bit stream. The bit streaming has been completed. And now we are ready to open the target. Auto connect. So this means we are going to connect it on the hardware and we are going to program our FPGA. Program device. Program device. And it And now it's ready. Going back to our hardware, so now we have uploaded uh, the software on our FPGA, and the first switch is the A, B, and carry in, and the first LED is uh, the sum, and the second LED here, LD1, is the carry out bit. So by turning on the first switch, you can see that the sum is on, which is correct as it uh, aligned with our truth table. If we turn on the second switch, again, the sum is on, or the third, the sum is on. Let's turn on A and B. So now we can see the carry bit is set. Again, with a C in and uh, the B is, uh, the, the carry out is set. And let's turn on the three switches. And as we can see, the sum and the carry out bit is on. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next episode.